In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace this front upper shock mount in this Chevy Silverado. Let's get into it. We're gonna pull the wheel off, take the center cap off first, use a straight blade screwdriver. You might wanna use a rag so you don't scratch anything. Just pop that off. Using a 22 millimeter socket, take the lug nuts off. Take the wheel off. We're gonna take off the sway bar link. Use a 15 millimeter wrench on the nut, using a 15 millimeter socket on the bottom. And just slide this down. And pull that out. Just gonna lubricate this. Use a little rust penetrant. Take these two bolts out. Use a 15 millimeter socket. Using a pry bar, you can slide this back. like that, just so it's not being supported by the control arm anymore. It's good. You can access the upper shock nuts from up top under the hood. On one of the nuts, there is a retainer. You have to take that off. You can use a trim tool, just a wire retainer that you have to take off. And then just pop that off out of the way. Now you can access the nuts. Now I'm using a 18 millimeter socket. Take those nuts out. I'm just gonna leave this nut on a couple threads just so the strut doesn't fall down. And take the last nut off. Now just supporting the strut, you can take this nut off. We can slide this down. Tip it out. And just pull it straight out. Now we loaded the whole assembly into a compressor, a spring compressor, and we compress the spring down. Now we can take this nut off up top, but the stud is gonna spin of the shock. So using some locking pliers, we're gonna go as high up on the shock as possible. They make special tools that you can use a strut nut socket so that you can go through the center of it and hold the stud from spinning. If you have one of those, use one of those. Using an 18 millimeter socket, take the nut off. Loosen up the locking pliers. And slide the shock out. Now take the mount off. And the plastic part of the mount. And you can take the bumper off. Now take the composite piece. And there's a little ear right here. You want to line that up with the rubber piece right there. Push that down. 
Now put the bumper in underneath. You can lock it in place. It's just like that. And line this top up. There is a couple of dimples underneath here. They line up those slots. Line those up. And put this spacer on. And we're gonna line this up. So this is slanted. We want this towards the center stud. So going towards the back. If you took the old one off, you can take a look when you were taking it off and see which direction that angle was at. Slide this up in place. Take the nut, get that started. And if you have the special socket, you wanna go over, hold the socket while you put a wrench on the stud to prevent it from spinning. What we're gonna do is use this rubber band clamp to prevent the stud from spinning. I just need to raise up underneath this boot, just lift that up. And it's gonna be the same as the locking pliers but you don't wanna put locking pliers on a new strut because you're gonna ruin the seal. So do what you can to prevent it from spinning. Let's go around. Should prevent it from spinning right there. Snug this up first. And we'll torque this to 37 foot pounds. Now I can remove the rubber band clamp. Now I can loosen up the compressor. Just make sure everything's lined up properly. That looks good. And slide it out. Then you wanna move these nuts over from the old one. Just clip those on the new one. Just like that. Now slide it in, same way it came out. And line the studs up top. Take one of the nuts. Once you get that one started, you can let it down. Get the other one started. loose and then go underneath. Now using the pry bar, just pry your lower control arm down. You can just take a rubber mallet, just tap it into place. Should be good there. Take the bolts, get the bolts started. Snug the bolts up. And torque these to 37 foot-pounds. Now I'm gonna tighten the upper shock mount bolts. Snug those down first.
And now torque those nuts to 37 foot pounds. Reattach this wire attachment to the stud right there. That's good. Now we'll take this apart and take the nut off. Take these pieces off and then just leave the washer and the bushing on the bottom. Go through a bushing, go through a washer, then that sleeve, then another washer, another bushing, go through the bar. Another bushing. Then the nut. Oh, <clears throat> then the washer, then a nut. Get that nut started. Tighten this down. You want to torque that to 17 foot-pounds. Now put the wheel up. Put the lug nuts on. Now I'm going to torque the lug nuts in a cross pattern to 140 foot-pounds. Now just go around again, double check. Now I take the center cap. There is a little picture of a valve stem. You want to line that up with the valve stem. Lock it down. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.